Coming in to help you create your FSAIB. Okay. 
This is part one uh, for your financial aid, okay? How many of us are gonna go to community college after high school? Yes, yes, okay. So we're gonna be creating your um, FSA ID, which serves as your electronic signature, okay? So in a couple of moments, we'll walk you through step by step. I'm gonna show you a quick presentation of what it's going to look like, and then you'll be able to we'll walk around and we'll make sure um, you complete your FSA ID. Um, the actual FAFSA application we won't complete until January when we come back from break, only because it was delayed, they made a couple of changes, so we expecting to release it on December 31st, okay? But we won't be here, we'll be, doing, we'll be at break, so. When we come back in January, that's when we'll go ahead and launch the application, and that's when we'll complete that. Today we are just doing part one, which is the FSA ID, which serves as your electronic signature for the application. So if you have a social security, uh, please make sure you have that on hand. If you have a picture, but you have the actual copy, if you have the actual, just the numbers, um, please make sure you have your social security on hand. If you need to text your parent, call your parent, um, if they can get that to you as well, we do need that. If you don't have your social security, um, you cannot continue on the application, okay? Um, also, we will ask you for either a phone number or your personal email, okay? If you have access to a phone number, um, or if you have line, right, if you have your phone on you, you will need that to verify your information. If you don't have it on you or you don't have a phone number, that is okay. We can verify with your um, personal email only, okay? So we'll need those two pieces. Uh, we'll, we'll finish that up today, and like I said, we'll come back in January, we'll get that done, and then we'll go ahead and finish that up, okay? Um, to be eligible for a community college, right, you guys have already completed, most of you guys have completed your application, mm -hmm. so you will get uh, free tuition paid for. The only thing is you do need to complete your FAFSA application, okay? Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, um, then you miss out on it, okay? So even though it's free, there are a couple of things that we need to do in um, completing our um, F FSA ID, step one, and then completing our FAFSA is also an important piece that we need to get done, okay? Any questions before we begin? Good? Okay. So, first part, right, what is an FSA ID? It consists of your username and your password. Uh, you're gonna need to create that to gain access into the U.S. Department of Education online uh, system. It counts as your electronic signature, right? Because nowadays everything is on this technology base, right? So that will count as you signing electronically once you complete your financial aid. Um, and your parent will also co complete one, um, one state aid one as well. Or if you have an older sibling who's already in college or already went to college, they should already have an FSA ID as well for you to sign. So this is what we're gonna do in a little bit. So don't do it yet, but I'm gonna walk you through it. We're gonna open up Chrome, right? We're gonna open up our browser. We're gonna type in FSA ID, and it'll be the first um, uh, first one we see up there, right? It'll say create account for your federal student aid. We'll go ahead and sign in, and then that's where we'll go ahead and start our application. It's going to look like this when you first open it, right? You'll see that page, it'll say create an account. We'll click on get started, and you'll see down here the two things that you need. You absolutely need your social security number and then you need um, your own mobile number and email address. If you don't have a social security number, that is okay. Um, we will go ahead and help you out at another time, okay? So if you have any other work to do for another class, that's okay, but if you don't have a social security number, don't worry about it. We'll go ahead and help you out um, at another time, okay? But if you do have a social, you have it on hand and it's good to go, then we'll go ahead and continue and complete this FSA ID. Go ahead. So you need your social, you need your mobile number if you have it available, and you need an email address. Not your .net, but your personal email. Raise your hand if you did not access, do not have access to your social. Okay. We'll check you off, um, and then we'll have your counselor meet with you one on one, and we'll and we'll get that done. Okay. Um, so step one, once we open it up, we hit create application, right? This is where we'll fill out our personal information. It's going to ask for our first name, our middle initial, and our last name, exactly how it says on your birth certificate or your social security card. From there, you'll go ahead and input your date of birth information, and then it'll ask you for your social security number. Yes. Uh, I think I agreed with Mr. Acosta. With Mr. Acosta? Yeah. So... I'm sorry? 
Uh, with Mr. Costa? Yeah. Okay, we'll check right now and we'll verify that. And if you're good, we'll mark you off. Um, so social security number and then we'll go ahead and hit continue. Okay, that's your personal information. Make sure it's exactly how it is. And then we'll go ahead and create a username. The weird thing about this or the tricky thing that um, councils have been, that we've been saying is that when you create your username and your password, try not to input um, or add your name or your initial or any of that stuff. That way it doesn't kick you out or send you back out. Okay, so you want to create a username that's a, that you can remember that you'll be able to write down. And we've given you those half sheets of paper where you can go ahead and input that information. Um, and then you'll add your address, you'll confirm it once again, you'll add it again, and then you'll create a password. Keep it simple, okay? Um, one of the easiest, for your password, you don't want to put your name either. You don't want to put your date of birth either. Um, you want to avoid that kind of information so it doesn't kick you out. Uh, easiest or one of the easier passwords that we've been using here on campus, you can do Matadors123, exclamation mark, capital M, right? Um, and then again, write that down, save that. Um, avoid using your own name for your password. That way the system doesn't kick you out. Um, because if it does or if it sees that, it'll, it won't let you continue, okay? So remember, we are using our personal email, okay? No .net, no dot at ggusc. It's your own personal email. Please make sure you have access to it. You're able to get into it because you will need to verify your information at the end. Any questions on step two? Okay. For step three, we're going to add our contact information. This is where you'll add your address where you permanently live and where you live now, right? You'll go ahead and add your address, your city, your state, zip code. And then at the bottom is where you will add your mobile phone number if you have one available. If you don't have a mobile phone number or you forgot your phone or you don't have line or whatever it might be, that is okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and verify just with your email, okay? And if you don't have a phone number, that's fine. It will let you continue. Um, after that, you'll agree to the terms. Please make sure you don't add an alternate phone number unless you have maybe like two phone numbers, which you might, right? But don't add your parents' phone number, okay? Um, in the event they're going to create an FSA ID or it's already linked to their FSA ID, um, you'll probably get an error message on that. So don't add an alternate phone number, um, just your main phone number that you have that you use. And then step four, they'll ask you um, your communication preference, right? How do you want them to reach out to you? Uh, they can send you via snail mail, right? They can send you an actual letter. They can contact you via email. Um, they can send you a text message. So you'll go ahead and select which option you prefer. And then you'll go ahead and select your language of choice or your preference, and you'll hit continue. Okay, so you'll decide what way you want them to let you know when there's opportunities in, uh, about loans, grants, other information. Um, you'll decide how you want them to reach out to you. And then step five, this is one of the trickier ones uh, where a lot of students kind of get lost. Um, it is your challenge question. So they'll ask you to answer four different questions, right? You'll pick from the little drop down and they'll say, what city were you born? What was your elementary school? The name of your best friend? What street did you grow up on, right? And you'll have that information. Um, so make sure you select questions that you'll remember and then you'll go ahead and type in the information. And then again, make sure you save it on your phone and on that half sheet um, that we have there for you. So just in the event that you're not able to access your account, they'll ask you a challenge question, a recovery question, and you'll be able to input that information. If you get them, then they'll give you access into your account, okay? And then step six, it'll then ask you to confirm all of that information you've already inputted onto the website. It'll say, hey, is this your personal information correct? The account information, contact info, the way you want us to communicate you in the challenge questions. Is it all correct, right? It'll give you a summary of everything. You'll Break it down, you'll see it, um, and you'll see if all those answers are correct. If there's something that you need to change, you'll go ahead and edit and make um, a change to that specific box. And then finally, step seven, we'll do our two-step verification. This is where they'll ask us to confirm or verify your email or your phone number. If you do your phone number, it'll send you a text. You'll input that code, um, and then it'll say, oh, nice job, your um, phone has been verified, right? And if you do your email, it'll send you um, a code to your email address when you verify as well. So again, make sure you have access to your phone and that phone number, and then make sure you have access to that email as well. That way we can verify um, today and now, and then after that, we'll be pretty much done. Once you verify, you'll get a backup code, right? Again, in the event you can get into your account, um, they provided a specific code, so take a picture of that, save it on your notes, um, save it on the piece of paper or write on the piece of paper. Um, in the event, again, that you can't access your account, it'll ask you for your backup code, and you'll be able to get in to your FSA ID account. Once all of that is done, you'll get this thing that says uh, your account was successfully created. What's next? 
and then it'll say remember your backwards code, blah, 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 and then you're all good to go. After that, we'll go ahead and walk around, we'll check you off on our list, and we'll say that you've, you've, you've concluded with your application, um, and you verify that information, you're all set with your FSA ID, and then when we come back again in January, we'll start the FAFSA application, and you'll be able to complete that as well. If you don't finish today, um, that's okay. Our goal is to be done, hopefully by the end of the period. But if not, that's okay. We'll go ahead and follow up when we come back. Um, or, in, or actually next Friday, we'll follow up again. Um, but hopefully we can get you to complete that today. Okay? Any questions before we begin? No? Alrighty. Okay, so there's three of us um, here in this classroom. We'll be walking around. We have two of our mentors from college groups. We have Dulce, we have Henry. You have myself, Mr. Chamo. We'll be walking around. If you have any questions, let us know. So step one, go ahead and open up your Chrome. Open up Chrome, type in FSAID, and click the first link where it says <coughs> your account. That is step one. We'll go ahead and start doing that. Mm, step two okay, go ahead, go ahead. Please make sure you have your social security on hand and access to your email and phone number. If you don't, that is okay, just let us know. Everybody received the half sheet, right? You can't have your name on your on the username. Try not to. Your name or your date of birth. Guys, you guys can't use your name or your date of birth for your password. Uh, I'm already in step two of this. So yeah, it's okay. It can, okay. All of this could be anything, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just make sure for your email address you use your personal email address. Okay, but everything else, it could be anything as long as I meet the partner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, you don't have to use your name if you don't want to for the username. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We got time. No rush. So step one, you can put in your first name, middle name if you have one, your last name, your birth, and your social security number. If you want us to verify that information, just let us know. Walking around to make sure.
He's already verifying. Dang. You good? I think I'm done. Let me see. Alexander, you're good? Silence? Oh, it's my video. Oh, it's my video. Oh, okay. like, it, it worked though, right? Yeah. yeah. You're good. Flower Street. That's your phone number? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. And you saved all that information too? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that we can get plus
And the website is timed, guys, so if you don't do it within a certain time span, it'll say an error occurred and you'll have to do it again. So if that happens, it's okay, as long as you have the information, it'll be fine. You good, Matthew? Yeah. Right. Okay, short you good? Let me check your, let me just make sure you get to go. Did you save your information? I forgot to write it down. Okay. But do you remember it, though? Remember how to sign back in? Did you log in? Yeah. Fausto yeah. sends you an email saying FSA ID was successfully created. Uh, so you can verify with that too. You don't have to log in. I didn't log in. Check your junk. Did you cut it? No, <laughs> it takes a while for it to load in. Oh, okay, yeah, it's okay. It'll Perfect. come in. And then click sync code. Sign back in. We'll have to start all over? No. If you've created it, you're good. Perfect. You want to write it down here so we can save it just in case? I didn't get it, so... Oh, it's just asking you where to I noticed that Fafsi is doing this now. <coughs> you have to log in twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that part of the new, like... Oh, it's so dumb. Oh, yeah. 
I see it the same too. Can I type it out? Sure.
Pray to make you restore. Oh, Did I say on there? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. refreshing. Because they're not moving, or if they're not like acting on the same time, they're just yeah. Oh, Santiago, sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Nice Lissandro? Lissandro? Rosales. Oh, Rosales. Alexander. He's good? Yeah. I'm okay. Right, don't even get money for your brain. Counselor's gonna put it in your folder, okay? Thank you. 
And then just verify. Click verify and they'll send you a code, okay? Should I just resend the code? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did.